Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be showing you um, how to remove or how to fix a bag uh, with HTV. So this one, for instance, I wanna change the name. Um, I'm gonna try reheating it and trying to peel this off. So it's gonna be difficult because um, from everything that I've read and seen, you're supposed to heat from behind, get the HTV kind of that glue to start um, heating up and working so that you can actually take it off. So this has, I, there's no way I can get my iron inside to get to that. So what I did was I did heat my mini up to three. And so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try to heat it up from the front. So I know that's not ideal, but I have my tweezers here ready to go. I mean, I've definitely done it where while the first time that I'm heating it and applying it and then somehow like you get a crease in it or something, I've been able to pull it off, um, but it's never stayed on this long. So this was a demo and then um, I actually need this bag and I wanna put a different name on it. So I have an alternative. This is, this is if it doesn't work, what I did was I created an offset so I would put the offset down and then the name on top. So we're gonna, or the opposite, yeah. Um, so that it would cover this anyway. So I'm tempted to, if this does work, that I would still leave on one letter to see how it would work if we fixed it. So let me grab the mat. Okay, so let's see what we can do here, okay? All right. So I want to put this down because I don't want to ruin my iron. So I wanna get this hot and let's try to get one letter off at a time. All right, okay, it is hot. And I think this one's gonna be difficult too because it's because of the material. Um, it's on the, that canvas um, burlap kind of material. So yeah, I feel like I'm pulling off. It might work better if the if it wasn't so like fibrous. I don't know if that's even the right word, but it just feels like this has it's sticking to so many like grains or threads of the of the bag that it's might not work. Yeah, I feel like I'm ruining the bag instead. Oh, but it's coming. Okay, so I got a piece of it. I don't know if you can see, but. Do you see how my A is a little bit less? I was able to grab some, but you know what? I think I need a more flat um, pair of tweezers so that I'm not, this was too pointy and I think I'm pulling up. Okay, let's try to heat it a little bit more. I don't know why I like go back and forth like that. For some reason, I feel like it's, <laughs> I'm doing more somehow. Okay. All right, I think it's just the material, but I can, it started to work a little bit, but I just feel like I'm ruining the bag more than anything. Cause you can see like all the different threads and fibers of this, of this material. All right, so what I'm gonna do instead is, and I didn't weed this because I wanna show you, I see complaints about Cricut um, Glitter HTV all the time, but I love it. So watch how like, see like I'm peeling it like this I'm not even using a tool so here is the outline the offset so see that my, I'm, I wanted to make sure that my offset covered the whole name so it does so that'll be easy and then um, and I just want to make this even so I'm just kind of like eyeballing it um, I'm using the two like um, I don't know the prongs of the of the tooth to kind of be my measurement. So this looks kind of good. So I'm just going to press this down just enough to um, pull off my transfer sheet. So did you see that was like, what, a few seconds? And that was enough to get that down. And then I'm gonna peel this off and then we'll do a much longer pressing with the white on top. 
And I know you're not supposed to do, or they don't recommend glitter, HTV on glitter, but this is a Tooth Fairy bag. It's not gonna, we're not really washing it. So you're not gonna have the same wear and tear, so that's why I'm doing it. I just want the brightness, and I also wanted it to match. Um, so here is the name Ryan. It's pretty cute like that. And then you wouldn't even know that there was a name underneath it. Um, you know what? I don't need that transfer sheet or the Teflon sheet because the transfer sheet is here still. So I'm going to get that off. So I want to pull off this transfer sheet because the Teflon sheet um, carries the heat really well. And so it's going to allow it to really stick down. All right, so there's the name. I'm gonna press it right now, like so. All right, well that was easy peasy. I wanted to show you how that was done. I will try to do a different video where we are pressing We've already pressed something else to see if I can take it off. But um, with this offset, we're done. And it looks really good. I actually really like the offset because then the name reads so much better. Because if you look at these two, although this is still, it, it's pretty, but you gotta look to, to definitely see the name. Um, all right, so that's how I would fix it with an offset and the letters and then repress it. I wouldn't necessarily do it on a shirt though because you're gonna have so many layers on a shirt, but anything that's not being washed so much, um, I would use it. All right, so let me know what you thought of this, um, if this was helpful at all, and let me see if you wanna see me fix other mistakes, <laughs> because I do make mistakes. <laughs> all right, bye guys.